Hello and welcome to my um, RTS camera type of you know tutorial right here. So what we're actually going to do is create a camera handler, so like um, the the system behind the camera that makes it you know like a like an RTS type camera. So um, I don't know if you've ever played the game League of Legends or um, let's say Starcraft and stuff like that. We're going to create a camera that kind of looks like that, a lot simpler, but you know for testing purposes it's perfect, or for um, learning purposes it's perfect. So let's get right into it. All I'm going to do is create a, uh, well, I'm going to create a um, plane. And I'm going to bring it to the origin. So zero, 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 right there. I'm just going to switch the scene right here. Double click on that. OK. So now I've got this plane. And I'm going to make it bigger because I want to use that as a floor. And next, what I want to do is give it a bit of color so we can see, like, you know, where we're going. Oh, we don't have any colors, do we? No. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to Assets up here. I'm going to go to Import Package. And I'm going to, uh, hmm, Terrain Assets. I'm going to bring in Terrain Assets to so this package right here. And I'm only going to select the top ones right here. Uh, yeah. Actually, no, we're not. So click none down here, and all we're gonna do is bring in um, the cliff, good earth, uh, grass, and grass and rock. So we're gonna bring those in. Great. And now uh, just open that, and just drag that onto the I don't know plane. I guess the you know the ground. Okay, so once that is done, that looks kind of ugly, but um, I guess we'll just have to deal with it. Um, you should click on the main camera. Uh, double click to come near it. I'm going to raise it up to 75 in the y-axis. I'm going to point it downwards. I think the best thing to do right here is just to go in game mode while clicking on that. And now I'm going to rotate it on the x by, uh, I don't know, 75. 75 looks good. And I'm actually going to bring it down thinking about it now. Uh, 30, 40. 30 looks good. Yeah, so 30 in the y axis. Okay. And uh, yeah, okay, great. So now that that is done, uh, I want to change the lighting. So I'm not going to use a, an actual light for this, directional light. I'm just going to go to Edit, go down to Render Settings, and where it says Ambient Light, I'm just going to move that to a bit wider. A bit wider, and then you should have like ambient light, right? <laughs> like a white ambient light. Okay, so once that is done, we can create a script, not a boost script, a uh, C-sharp script. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I and mean, you could call this anything, but I'm gonna call mine RTS Camera Handler. Like that. And once that's done, just drag that onto your main camera. Make sure it's there and not on the plane. Okay, now you can open that. And there's a few things we have to do for this to work perfectly. The first thing we have to do is I'm just gonna delete these for now. Is um create four boolean variables. I don't. Some people do this type of um you know camera handler differently. I did this before and it worked fine. So I'm gonna create four um boolean va variables. The first one's gonna be move right. Actually no, move up. No, how do they call it? Move forward. That's it. Move forward. And that's gonna be false. Boolean move backwards, backward equals false. Boolean move right equals, yep, false. And then, okay, I've lagged a bit. There we go. Boolean move left equals false. Done. Now we're going to create a void. Um, actually, we're going to create the start function. So void start. Okay, so this function will be called when Unity starts to run. And uh, actually, no, we don't even have to do that because I've just initiated them there. So, okay, we don't need that, but we do need the update loop. So, update. 
and you cannot do this in the fixed update loop if some of you know what that is you have to do this in the update loop okay so all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna call a RTS camera uh, I don't know function I guess uh, whoops my bad void RTS camera like that and then finally move camera so I'm all creating these uh you know these new functions which should help me keep this very clean so if your project gets kind of big um, at least you know where things are and it's easier to find errors and stuff so now in the RTS camera we want to um, we want to make we want to find out if in this frame the users press the button okay so we're gonna move the camera with the WASD keys so all we're gonna do is if input dot get key down is uh, equal to what am I doing get key down sorry bracket key code we're, we're gonna start with uh, move forward so W key code uh, this equals equals true yes um, then do this. Let me just check if there's any errors in here. Oh, that looks correct. Okay. Then do that. And I'm going to keep this all in single line so because then it gets kind of big if you don't. So um, in this little bracket bit, I'm going to write um, move forward equals true. And that's it. That's done. Now what you want to do copy that down you want to change the input get key down to input dot get key up key code equals W is equal to true then move forward equals false okay um, oh. before I go on and make the other ones I just want to make sure that you know that algorithm works so in move camera I'm gonna write if move forward equals true um, transform dot translate uh, what's the it's um vector three vector three dot uh, forward I like guess pretty nice neat um, here it could be anything but it's more like camera speed between this multiplying thing right here so what I'm actually gonna do is instead of calling this 40 a fixed value I'm gonna just type in camera speed and then I'm gonna create a new variable up here don't forget to call it public or else it won't work uh, it will work you just won't see it and I'm gonna set that to 40 straight off that's the default speed so that's done times um, time whoops time dot delta time and then close that off check if there's any errors doesn't seem to be anything so um, I guess let's test it two seconds just initiating oh come on There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna press W, and it actually moves downwards. Okay, let me try again. Why would it move downwards? Transform translate forward vector three forward. Um. Transform dot. Two seconds just while I check this. Mm. Alright, I just got that. Um, I forgot to in this translate, so transform.translate, blah, blah 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 blah. I forgot to put after the delta time space dot world. So instead of it being just the object moving it related to the object, so because our object's facing downwards, forward for that object is to go downwards right 
but for the world compared to the world this object has to go forward and you know forward the way we want it to go forward so all I've done is I've added um, space dot world and then that's it and in this get key down I'm gonna make it neat a bit neater I'm just gonna delete the true because if that is true then it, it's, it's true right okay so we're gonna hit play and now I'm gonna press W it moves forward I stop move forward there we go so that algorithm works so now I'm gonna copy this another three times down so then the next one is move back so that's gonna be the key s then it's gonna be move right which is D then move left which is a once that's done all you have to do is change the variables in here move left move right and then move backwards okay uh, what's going on key go a double bracket okay now all we have to do is make the changes to the move camera function and we're just gonna move that to move back move right move left okay and now the last thing we have to do is change the vector 3 dot something so for the back it's going to be dot back vector 3 dot right and vector 3 dot left All right so now if we I'm just gonna copy this uh, and just move it so I've got a bit more place to play with Oops. and we should be done to be honest I'm just going to show you how it works so there we go now I can press multiple keys and it just moves me around so if I just move the camera up a bit to about 50 you can see how it works or well, 75 like before you can see how it works the higher your camera the smoother it's going to look to be honest so usually I keep it at about 75 so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, hope it was useful, and um, yeah, I'll see you later, bye bye.